It was bad because it did not approve. I was very scared. My loves, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl, Larry Oberica, and you're welcome to another vlog. So, in this vlog, I basically take you on the journey or the process of my partner meeting my parents. So to be very honest, I was very scared. Very, very scared. Contrary to popular opinion, I don't know. This is this is kind of very important, you know. It's like very important that your parents approve of who you're marrying and all of that. So I know I mentioned in my previous blog that oh I'd never, you know, met anybody's parents, like to to meet them and tell them, oh, we're getting married or we want to get married. But I have taken a man home to see my parents and it was bad. It was bad because it did not approve and that was a lot of traumatic stress. I mentioned in my previous vlog about PTSD and how, you know, when you experience something and it ends badly, the next time you want to do something like that, you are just like, ah, am I sure I really want to do this? Am I sure I will not just take a step back, you know? So yeah, um... And I was worried because the previous person, they had spoken on the phone. They were so in love with this person. They were so excited. Only for us to reach there. They say, no, not him. Can't be him. It's never been him. And, you know. So that's why I said in my engagement, um, where I was explaining that if I knew I was going to get engaged or if I saw it coming, that I already knew I was going to marry my partner before he proposed because, not just because of that PTSD experience, also because that's how I've always been. My parents are like my my best friends like my family were very close to each other like i can tell my mom and dad anything even though they can be weird at times but like safe space basically they will judge you but like i I decided that that's how i wanted to go with my parents because that's how i want my kids to be with me so i was really terrified because my parents opinion means a lot to me and all that so they had spoken on the phone and all that my mom and my partner were already you know vibing on a control level but i was like it has happened before. All that, the all that will not happen again. My partner kept telling me that it's okay, don't worry, it's gonna be fine, you know. I'm the man for you, you know. <laughs> so much pride. But yeah, so um basically I started off the vlog in my usual style, you know, mostly chatting a lot because I was like I said, I was scared. I don't think I mentioned my partner at that time that I was scared, but I was scared a lot. So basically, um, I don't know if we did any shopping or if I did any vlogging of us getting ready, but summarily we got to the park. So we went by road again. I mentioned in my last video that I like traveling by road, but this time around we went by road because our friends were going on a trip as well and they we were going to Asaba as well. In fact, we basically timed our trip to be on the same day so that we could go together. So that our friend and his wife now married and they were Boyfriend and girlfriend, I'll be fiance and fiance. I won't go anywhere at that time. But yeah, so him, his wife, myself, my partner, we basically went on a road trip together and it was really nice. It was hey guys, we're on our way. We're on our way. <laughs> wow, really? Oh, now we start our now. That's our first time. Free, say hi to my camera. Say hi. <laughs> I'm not showing you. Hello, you. You know, fresh. Today, so guys, on our way with my baby Betsy, Chris, and his wife, and us. So we're going to have a fun trip. My baby already went all out. Because Betsy is traveling with us, we went to make scrambled eggs with sardines, seed, bread, sandwich, packed peanuts, granola. Hey, we did a whole story. If you hear him tell me now. Nothing for me. It's me that went to the kitchen and be cooking spaghetti in the morning. This life no balance. Why not for me to get best here? You don't have any comments. Eh? No comments. Alright guys, on our way, we're still in Abuja, so we arrive here like 4 p.m. Really, really, it was a fun trip and we were just bantering and made some food so we didn't have to buy anything on the way. We are just eating, gisting and all that. He's a very good friend of mine. I want to say husband. Eh, husband. Zio. 
take your time. <laughs> so yeah, before we continue this video, I want to take a minute to apologize once more because today now we're not dealing with AC fan, a generator and fan because there's been no electricity in Abuja for a bit. There's electricity, but it's very higgy harder and sometimes you can't rely on it. You can't be waiting for light to shoot in you, basically. That's what I'm trying to say. So if you're hearing any of this noise, it's like we normally say in our video, is it as what? background music so moving on we got to the park started our trip and we got to a place close to um local giant cookie state and the car the tires are making some kind of weird noise and then we had the park the driver checked it out so i think there was a crack in the disc of the tire i think at that point they didn't know that there was a crack in the disc of the tire just something was wrong with the tire i think they pumped it or changed it i don't really know what they were doing i didn't i didn't take note because we didn't spend too much time there and they said we sorted let's go so yeah but the car is bad that's the car behind us um they're trying to fix it I don't know if you can hear me because these people that are screaming in this year language are louder than me. So we're under the sun and under the mango tree. It was good. We got to Lokoja and we got to this popular GT food in Lokoja where everybody subsists. Now I've been going to that place since I was 10 years old and now I'll be 28 this year. So I've been going there for about eight. Like I passed that route for about 18 years because I went to boarding school in Abuja and you know, we always stop there whenever I use that like, snatchy or God is good. I don't remember that very because we used to use when we used to travel to school that time. So that place is a very popular place to me, <laughs> like ingrained in my heart. So we got there and then, you know, people like the back to get food and all that. So I and my partner went on glasses shopping. So my partner is obsessed with glasses. Me, on the other hand, I take care of glasses like they are trash. I don't give a shit how expensive the glasses is. Like buy me an Armani glasses. I will use have an Armani glasses in her in uni that some boy bought for me. I don't think I knew the value until I became an adult. So I don't give two shit about glasses. My partner is always trying to get me like multiple glasses. They telling me you need to switch up your look with glasses. I'm like, excuse me, bro. That's all we are for, you know? So we went glasses shopping, but he didn't find anything that framed my face because me, if you leave me, anything that's just black and big, I bought it and I've moved on with my life. So we didn't find, so while we were waiting, you know, people like were going to eat and stuff. So we got back into the car and we moved. Only for us to move for like, I think five minutes and the driver was like, no. This car is on a good condition to keep traveling. That there's this noise he's still hearing in his tire. That's how we do about them. Went back to that GC free place, found the mechanic and realized that there was a crack in this place. So they had to go and buy a new one. And Lokoja, we were in Lokoja. We we're on the express. We're not inside Lokoja town. And from Lokoja express, Lokoja was about 15 minutes or 20 minutes to go into town, find a place to buy the part, come back and fix it. So we waited for like maybe one hour, 30 minutes to two hours. So that delayed us a lot because remember that we had stopped previously, previously. What is previously? Let me just say for something, but if I could do this vlog in Igbo, I would have done it because this English is becoming tiresome. So anyway, um, we had spent a lot of time previously where we had stopped the first time to fix what was wrong with the car. So time had gone. Summer really sha finally they fi finished fixing it. It was a very stressful way. I was exhausted, I was sad because in this period of my life I had traveled back to back. I don't think there was any week I was not on the road or in the air from my work, from work to my grandma's burial to going to my no, actually from August through till October, I think I traveled every other week. Yeah, in August I went for my cousin's wedding. After that I went for Diana's wedding. Then we entered as I came back from Diana's wedding in September, went to see my parents in laws. I went for work in Kanu. Then I went to my grandma's funeral. Then I went to Asaba. Then I went to my husband's hey, husband. I went to my husband's village, you know, again for his brother's wedding. So like we had I had traveled. At this point, I was done with traveling. I didn't want to travel anymore. I told myself, if I see one more helicopter, one more, I think helicopter, one more airplane or car, I would not get into it because I was exhausted from traveling. So I was over it by the time we got to Asaba. It was like 7 p.m. I didn't vlog anything again. I can't be doing that. So my dad was waiting for us at the park. He picked us up, took us home. We had dinner, showered. Everybody just kind of like meditated with the red rain and we went to bed. So the next day was. Guys, good morning. We are in a suburb. We got in so late yesterday. We got in like 7 p.m. Our car went bad. I think I mentioned that. 
just before we got to local jar we tried fixing it thought it was good to go got to local jar and was still giving us issues we fixed it again and found out that something was broken in the tire the tire wheel the disc something and it took a long time to fix by the time we went on our way we got into traffic long story short we got here like 7 pm we got home maybe like to eat by the time i had dinner <coughs> Freshened up, it was already like 10. I had to speak with my brother for a long time, had work. Long story short, it's the next day. And yeah, we're in a suburb, and so far, so good. I don't think we have any activities lined up. I've been working since I woke up, and I'm having a crazy sore throat. I think I'm stressed out. So, my mom helped me get set training, which I'm going to take now and then go help her with breakfast if everybody's ready to eat and yeah carry you guys along i'll try um yeah i'm gonna be here till f we'll leave on friday so today's wednesday so yeah that's how it's going um i said hello to my man this morning he's in the guest room on the other side of the house so yeah it's going good it's going good so far so good it was the day of reckoning. I will now know whether this trip that I made and suffered and tarried on the road for hours was in vain or it was going to be productive. I was scared shitless. I'm not even I just kept praying and telling God that He gave me this one. I know the first time I was not, I not really have saying, so please don't allow my previous mistakes to cause the dent in this one. So, unlike when my parents in those um, validated me, um, I wasn't in the meeting. When my parents was validating me, it was my parents in laws, my her husband and his and it's this husband thing. I mean just be honest. <laughs> it doesn't sound normal. <laughs> my partner. My partner's um he always be my partner now. What do you people mean? I'll get used to it, but like sorry, it's still new. Okay, so um my partner, his parents, his siblings had the meeting and they talked about it, asked him why he wanted to marry me. I don't even know what to talk about. I honestly didn't ask. All I cared about was the birthday good to go and he said yes. But in my own case, my parents' case is always different. Me that was the person that brought man home. I was not inside the meeting. You know? My father chased me to my bedroom. My bedroom is really far from the dining area. So that the extreme dines like in the middle of the house. The house is really large and stuff. So I didn't know what was happening. My dad said, if I wanted whatever I wanted, water, snacks, or that, I should just keep it in my room. I should not be philandering around his dining area. So they were at it for hours. And I was wondering, this one that they had eaten for hours. Is it that it's failing the exam? Ha! For that big. Because this one I really like and I want to marry. Do you understand? So after a couple of hours, they called me in that and asked me a few questions. Why do you want to marry this man? Are you sure? Are you sure? Do you pray about it? And all of that. What are your convictions? They should ask me a bunch of questions. And when they were done, my dad was like, okay, but they approve. They like him and they're happy to, you know, welcome him as their son. That he's now their last born, whatever. Did not share tossed me out of it and started bonding together. Somewhere I was excited. I mean, one thing I'd always pray for was that my parents would love my partner, if possible, more than me. Because at this point, I think that my mother likes my partner more than she likes me because they're always on the phone. In fact, now I even hear things about my father because usually my dad and I don't talk as much. We would talk like once in a week. My mom and I talk every day. So my mom would have given me this about my dad for my dad gets to even give me this about himself. Now I hear things about my dad from my partner because my mom will forget to tell me and she will tell him. Love it, by the way. So yeah, um, so everything was now all cool. I was now calm. Now we could have some fun in this asaba that we came to. It was my partner's first time in Delta State and I wanted him to like at least go out and see town and all that. But before that, I want to say that my baby is very multi-talented. Is he your baby? <laughs> So yeah, um, so back in the day, he used to own a barbering salon. So that that was like a plus for me. One thing, one thing I, I think I've mentioned to him is that I wanted someone that was you know interested in my craft. I knew you guys know that I have a wig and hair styling business. And I wanted someone that kind of had an idea of what I was doing. I would you know get it, shall get it, understand that this work, you know. So anyway, my dad, I mentioned it to my dad, and my dad was like, oh, you have to give me a haircut, and he gave my dad this really nice haircut. My daddy said, and I quote that. It's gonna come to just for hair all the damn time, but they look at her. So um after we're done with that, we kinda like, you know, went out. I think I saw a clip of what's been going on. My parents having dinner with my man. It's so intriguing to see. Like I I didn't have any worries to be honest, but one day I'll tell you a story about how I've done this before and I was panicking. But this time around I was just like 
you know. I'm sure, I'm sure. So today we're going to take my man around Asaba. He doesn't travel much. I'm the Adela from the relationship. So my mom was taking like into Asaba so we can explore all the goodness. I'm trying to figure out something to do to my hair. My mom absolutely hates this hair that I'm on, but my man likes it. So she has told me that my level has changed. So I don't need to have validation anymore. If my man likes it, everybody will, it will do like it. So I also want to get to the market and buy some things that I want to use for hair, I want to do. Because I absolutely freaking really forgot that I was going doing the hair. <laughs> I know this is not very professional of me, but I've had a lot going on lately. My my parents are like, oh, let's go into town. Since he has never been to Asaba, let us go and see Asaba town and you know, show him around. So we wanted to go out, but the tire was, my dad knows the tire was bad. My partner, my dad fixed the tire and then we stepped out. I think we went to buy gas first. And then from there, we now went shopping, went to a lot of places. My mom wanted to get a bunch of things. And my partner was getting glass. That man and glasses. That man and eyeglass. Anywhere we go, we give eye glass. He has even told me that I need to buy glasses for the wedding, so I'll be looking chic. I'm like, excuse me, is he with on? <laughs> but yeah, we went around for a few things, took a lot of pictures, went to Gabs to buy like, I don't even know, my mom was just shy in a very good mood. I remember when I was in a good mood, my father's ATM card suffers because she was buying every and anything. So we bought a bunch of stuff, went to me, so I also bought some things for my parents, like anything that they wanted, I just told them to pick it and, you know, we bought it for them. And then yeah, we basically did all of that. I do you know that I honestly can't remember this as our trip anymore. I'm trying to remember what we did after that. So I think that was kind of like basically it. Yeah, we spent a day I think after that, but I don't think I vlogged. It was just basically us at home, just chilling and talking about the wedding and you know what we wanted to do and all that. So summarily it was really good. And a day after that, we now went to um, my baby's hometown for his brother's wedding. It was another road trip. I've mentioned it before, no airport yet. So, and I don't think there's actually um, flights from Asaba to Kalaba. If you want to even go to Kalaba, like just an example. So if you want to go to Kalaba from Asaba, I don't think there are airplanes that go there. So you have to really fly to... Actually, you can't fly. The only places that fly to Kalaba, Abakeleke, all those places is Lagos, Abuja, basically. There's no, I don't think I've seen Asaba to Calaba. Let me know as you, maybe that's changed now, but at the time it hadn't changed. So yeah, anyway, we got to my parents in those place and we just kind of like settled in. I had some afang, my favorite soup of the season. And you know, it was good. My fears were very valid, but they did not matter because this one, like I said, I really liked and God had already gone ahead of us. And it was something that I'd prayed about a lot, you know, my parents loving this person that I wanted to be with. And I trust my parents inside a lot. And if my dad and my mom see someone is good to go, then definitely it's good to go. Then they're not very biased people when it comes to like things that are good for their children. So yeah, I mean, all it was really good. I think my partner had a swell time. I mean, he had a very swell time. He had a very, 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 very swell time. Yeah, so um, that was basically it, meeting my parents. And I'm so glad that they approved because... Yeah, obviously I got engaged and that was like really sweet and stuff like that. So yeah, um, that basically it on my partner meeting my parents and I'm really glad that it was a walk in the park. I don't know if he had any like fears. Maybe later on if he's feeling up to it, I would ask him to grace us on the channel and you know kind of talk about like his own perspective of meeting my parents. You know, because I've just said it from my perspective. But I don't know what was going through his head, whether he was scared, whether you know all of that so yeah maybe one of these days you know this many i could beg and beg i will beg on the floor anything for you guys and see if i can get him to come on the channel so till i come your way in the next vlog which is a very interesting one I, I i i think i might say i think so myself don't forget to like share comment and subscribe thank you for all the support on this my fiance series that be diaries it's been really wholesome and amazing how you guys have been very supportive so i will see you guys in the next video like i said like share comment and subscribe and drop a comment in the comment section below thank you so much for watching your favorite fiance signing out bye